No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's Cameron Dantzler who picks it. And the Vikings are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Certainly not the cleanest of starts to this football game. Back-to-back -back plays yield turnovers in this first quarter. So there's not much flow right now. A very choppy game. And I know this, it's a copycat league. We say it all the time about the NFL, but I'm not quite sure this is what they had in mind about something they wanted to emulate. No, you don't want to emulate a turnover. 46 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. A first down throw for Cousins. He's going to go for a big play downfield. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys will take over possession here up at the 44. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Polluting the pressure right. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That one brought back a few nightmares because when a quarterback gets outside of the pocket, your job as a defensive back, make sure you stay as deep as the deepest receiver and not let anyone leak behind you for a big play. A nice job there having discipline and not letting them connect on that pass. Now Prescott on fourth down, being chased out left. Finds a seam inside the 40, and finally taken down at the 34. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Anthony Barr. And the Vikings are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit, like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, <laughs> not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. We're scoreless after one. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way 
across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And now this one may draw a penalty. He just blindly threw that one to the sideline. And yep, indeed, the flag is out. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Now Cousins. And the third interception thrown by Cousins. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. Boy, Charles, that is now three interceptions in three consecutive drives, and you can see he's just got a look of disgust and bad body language, understandably, as he walks off the field. And I think it comes from the fact that he's not sure what he sees down the field, Brandon. I don't know if he's seeing ghosts. I don't know if he just can't read defenses. I'm not sure what it is, but that's why he's frustrated. Think about the defense right now. Every time they run on the field, they've gone from hoping to intercept the pass to expecting to intercept passes. Their confidence at an all-time high right now. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that is going to set up a third and one. Now Prescott sliding out of the pocket. And that's Elliott complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Prescott to throw it. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And now a pass dumped off to his running back. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. To the air again, Prescott flush to his right. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They exited the pocket, trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. Micah Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Throwing on second and eight, Cousins. This goes out wide from Madison. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Now Cook hit, and he lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. And that one quickly went from a big play for the offense. I thought he may go the distance to a big play for the defense. And how about the emotions for the defense on that play? It broke big. It was going to be an absolute disaster for them. And it turns out they end up with the football. I don't know that they're exactly celebrating. Definitely plenty of relief, though. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Here's Prescott. Yeah, he's got it. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. 
but it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So now Dak Prescott off, Greg Zerline on for the field goal. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And Zerline's kick is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Let's it fly for Thielen. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Vikings. Adam Thielen, 44 yards, and the Vikings have taken the lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Now Pollard. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with 25 seconds to go, we'll, we'll see how they want to play this. Elliott on first down. Got to get this back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Here's second and 10. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, 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 check. Now Prescott. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to get it back here just past the 35. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. Final play of the half. Prescott flushed out right. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Give to Elliott. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. 
Elliott going to get it again on second down. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. The give is to Elliott. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. That one complete, Elliott. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Prescott now. He finds his man complete. It's Elliott. And the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Pollard. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead is now 10 to 7. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. A run there with Cook on first down, but it won't net him much. Maybe a yard. Second down coming up. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. To throw is Cousins. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. On play action, Cousins. Escaping the pressure right. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> His throw incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. On third 
down, Cousins. And now here is another interception. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. And the Cowboys are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. 109 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Shea Wadalua taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Zerline now for the PAT. It's good to make it 17-7. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They go play action. Cousins. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. Here's Cousins. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Randy Gregory coming in to drop it for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Mike Zimmer got to be unhappy with how that turned out. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. 